Hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you for being here today, Monday the 10th of August. Happy birthday if it is your birthday uh, for today and I'd also like to wish Laurie, Laurie A, a very happy birthday as she did comment on uh, Thursday's reading, if I could do a reading on Monday. Usually I do a reading on Monday, but I couldn't miss it today, Laurie. So I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Nevertheless, let's have a look at what's going on in the tarot. And of course, this message is for you if you watch this on another day. Now, the astrology portion of what's going on today in the sky will be um, at the end of the tarot reading. Okay, so thank you so much for all your support, for liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. And for those of you that are not aware, the astrology for August uh, is up on my website. You will find the link in the description box below. This is for those of you that want to go into the finer details of what's going on in the astrology in the world and therefore in our own personal lives as well. Okay, as of course we know that the um, stars, the planets, they do affect us on a personal scale as well as on a collective scale. So what's going on? Okay, we've got the Ace of Cups here. This is the foundation. What is hidden? We've got the Ace of Wands. In the recent past, we've got the, the Knight of Cups, and uh, this is the Modern Spellcaster's Tarot, if you're interested. So we've got Fire and Water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, the Ace of Wands. <laughs> we know that Aces are potentials, but they are also gifts. Now, of course, there's always free will, okay? The signs are there. Um, when the signs are there, if we take the action, we can manifest. If we leave these potential signs or new beginnings pass us by, what can I say? Let's look at the now. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, so we've got two Knights here. Okay, Knights are all about taking action. Uh, Knight of Pentacles would be Virgo energy, could be any other earth sign. Of course, this is a general read. What's on our mind? We've got the Hermit, okay? I just mentioned Virgo, there is the Hermit. In the action and advice, wow, this black cape. Five of Wands, uh, did I say Wands? Five of Cups. Looks like if this is a love relationship, even if it's any sort of a relationship, we've got two people with their backs turned to each other, okay? Both in, uh, I'm going to say, because of the, the cape, it does speak of a lot of secrecy. Um, both people are not being open with their true emotions here. Now, Five of Cups is obviously looking at the glass half empty rather than half full. Okay, and there is a lot of emotion around the Five of Cups, as you can see, the waterfall. Uh, the water running in the background, a lot of tears. What's the outcome? And we've got the Four of Pentacles. Well, if that's not stubborn energy, then what is? Um, usually the Four of Pentacles is my Taurus card, but here it does show someone being very protective of what they own, protective, uh, being trying to secure anything to do with home, money, business, uh, family, Okay, someone is trying drastically to protect everything that they've built. Okay, and this could be someone holding on to what they value and not opening up about it. Okay, Four of Pentacles is very stubborn. Let's see what the divine message is. And we've got the lovers here, so we've got Gemini here as well. The lovers could be a choice between two people. This could be a choice between what I own and what my heart wants to own. 
and what I mean by that is what I love. So someone is fighting between, I do feel that there is competitive energy. If this is not a third person, then the competition is, is about um, what's more important to me. Is it what I own? Is it what I've built? Or is it what I've got deep within my heart? And this could be fear of losing, fear of losing money, losing one's stability and anything to do with um, being, I don't know, condemned by the family. If, if someone is wanting something that the family does not agree upon, and that could be anything. That's why they're holding on here still. But we've got the lovers in the divine position, which says that this is a very strong, very strong communication. This is emotions on the same level. And again, head over heart decision, right? The head is more the logic. The heart is more about our true self and what we want to connect with, who we want to connect with, what's at the bottom. And we've got the three of wands. So the general energy is the three of wands. There's the five of wands, which I mentioned before, being conflicted. Again, we've got one person that is not wearing a blindfold. It's as though uh, someone is sitting on the outside watching others struggling. Um, looks as though they're already they know what's happening there. They've already created something that is working for them and they're just watching others from the outside. I don't know what that could mean. It feels as though someone feels much more intelligent. They're more in the knowing of what's really going on here. And this could be, I mean, you know, a family situation where one person is not taking part because they're looking, they could see further into the future, they could see the truth. Three of Wands is all about expansion and growth or waiting on those ships to come through. Let's have a look with the uh, psychic tarot of the heart. What's going on? Now I'm going to say Pisces is very strong here because the Knight of Cups is riding a fish. <laughs> Instead of riding on a horse, so that means he comes in suddenly, he's going to do uh, an unexpected um, show. Okay, it's as though he's showing off his uh, abilities. He feels quite victorious. And it looks as though he's trying to... Um, to ha he wants the admiration from the other person. He's showing off his abilities. Let's have a look. We've got Choose Your Battles, which is the Seven of Wands. Okay. And uh, what's interesting is that uh, this little person here is looking at those three gigantic figures there, <laughs> trying to figure out, and he's got quite a decisive stance there. So it's it's as though he is um, uh, conversing with people that are higher up than him, as though he's trying to get the okay, okay from uh, others in an authoritarian position. So that could be where business is concerned. Anything to do with the law, this could be um, Elders, uh, people that are more experienced uh, than this person. So, interesting. So it looks as though someone is trying to get the okay to move forward. Let's see, we've got five, five of pentacles feeling alone. So someone is feeling alone. It looks as though... Um, they're choosing their battles very carefully. They're looking at uh, what what power they've got over the situation. But it feels as though they need to, to go alone. They need to do this on their own. So this is asking for a lot of uh, energy, a lot of decisiveness, a lot of passion and inspiration to move forward. 
and we've got a dedicated effort so someone is ready to put in the work okay ready to put in the work and create as you can see this person is creating a miracle here okay this is a lot of inspiration a lot of creativity and this person is very um, very artistic as well that's the the gifts that they have they, this is someone that's really really good at what they do what's at the bottom and we've got the confront again we've had this card in the last three readings so the moon is playing a very big role in what's going on as I said someone is confronting their shadow they're confronting their fears let's have a look at what the Lenormand has got to say the psychic tower of the heart uh, we've got a lot of uh, earth and fire now fire is of course the ammunition to move forward earth is very slow and stable it looks as though this uh, person here could be because we've got eight and five that's 13 which is Scorpio and I'm going to throw Scorpio in as well this person is very slow and meticulous but they go deep when they connect they connect on a very deep level or this person's life is going through major transformation and they're being very intelligent they're choosing their battles not going head first so this there's a lot of democracy here okay a lot of democracy and maybe even compromise with the higher power we've got the staircase which means there is a choice it is a number 22 it's a master number we've got the mountain here so it's um, we've got 22 and then 21 um, and 21 the mountain of course is like the world card it's 22 someone needs to make a choice and then they take a step back we're going from 22 to 21 and then we've got 34 which is a 7 and here is the fish again there is a school of fish here of course this speaks of prosperity abundance money okay so um, 34 does break down to 7 7 is spirit so this is spirit uh, lending a hand a helping hand what's at the bottom and we've got the stalk and the stalk again uh, speaks of this could speak of transitioning and making building a new home somewhere else or this could be speaking of something being born and brought in the stork brings the child so something new is trying to come through it is a 17 which is also the number of the star the star is communication through social media it is Aquarius Uranus Uranus in Taurus um, sudden changes uh, innovative um, action bright ideas intelligent moves let's have a look at what the oracle monology says today and we have a time for healing balsamic moon so it's a time of healing at this time everyone Um, let's take more cards as I do see here Virgo especially um, Virgo here the hermit which is at the position of thoughts the hermit we know is someone that goes in goes in and uses their higher power this is connection to spirit this is someone looking for the answers at the foundation we've got um, Ace of Cups which always shows the cup overfilling overflowing it's there is a lot of happiness here but this is the potential of it it's only an ace now what is hidden is the ace of wands which says that you need to go with what you desire ace of wands is the desire so we've got the desire and we've got the emotion strong beginnings here ace of wands is also having the passion and the fire beneath to move forward to move mountains and this is not something that you see every day this is not something that happens every day okay as you can see the fish is actually taking a dive 
it's dived out of water for oxygen for oxygen and you know it's interesting to see that what you know this speaks to me of is thinking of dolphins how they you know this can speak of a lot of happiness and whoever is this person that's coming free I think what I mean free free to act and react and do what they want okay because they understand now that they're free from those uh, restrictions to take action on their own they know that they're the hero in their own life story now we've got this is quick this is a quick jolt unexpectedly uh, an offer comes through so one person is moving very stable and steady and the other person is coming in um, we've got water here and water is very emotional you know it takes all forms so anything goes here but with the uh, Knight of Pentacles very slow and stable movement forward again the Virgo energy looking in between reading in between the lines but also being of service so Virgo is also health and I feel that here with the hermit and the hermit could also be a doctor okay someone is um, I do feel as though here and this uh, I feel that the hermit is um, it's spiritual it's holistic healing I do feel that spirit is helping someone um, come to terms with the truth but also this is bringing uh, emotional health because it is a very challenging time at this time where our uh, psychological state is concerned so someone is needing um, to look for the answers and go um, go it alone looking for the answers alone doing that important Virgo work working behind the scenes and I feel as though because the uh, action and advice is the five of cups um, someone is feeling as though you know five of pentacles five of cups we've got a couple of fives we, we did see the five of wands as well three fives again 15 okay there is change though through many fives fives are always adjustments and I do feel here with the five of cups because the two of cups have not been spilt all all is not lost here all is not lost and for those of you that are still holding on for something you're holding on to someone and not letting go we've got the lovers here which is a number of balance okay there will be some sort of confrontation someone looking into their psyche looking for those answers let's take more cards because the general energy here is the three of wands which says that those ships are slowly and steadily they will show up let's have a look what's this ace of cups and we've got another five five of swords that's four fives now that's 20 which is judgment five of swords this is self-sabotage someone doesn't believe that they're good enough to start this new new or old relationship um, new beginning in new chapter which is going to bring happiness here okay they even though because the five of swords is all about air it's Aquarius Gemini or Libra it's all about the thoughts okay someone is not looking into their heart they're looking more into their logic and they're trying to make things add up and they're not adding up let's take another card and we've got the star card so Aquarius is all about the future it's all about hope hope and healing we do have a lot of healing that's going on here and the star does speak of the future let's look at the ace of wands which is a gift coming from from God and we've got the Sun 
we've got the sun twice and the sun is all, all about clarity it's about unconditional love it's new beginnings okay this is all about vitality health trust and a lot of passion generosity Leo and the Sun is in Leo so this could mean that there is a new beginning something is being worked upon the stage is getting set up for a new beginning people are taking their positions and we know that Leo is someone who wants to get up on stage and shine it's all about not being behind the scenes as Virgo is but Leo performs up on stage right let's have a look at this mm, that card didn't want to come out let's look at this Knight of Cups which looks very victorious and we've got the Six of Cups Six of Cups of course a soulmate connection trust um, there may have been trust issues in the past right trust issues someone is taking a leap of faith there are seven cups here with the uh, seventh cup that the knight of cups is holding seven of cups is the Pisces um, confusion this is illusion this is I've got lots of choices but finally the most important choice is made that this stems back a long time okay this is a lifelong as you can see we've got two generations the children and the elders in the background okay this could be a twin flame connection one that is going to it's trying to get victorious it's trying to come through to creep through to sneak through those clouds and that ace comes through the clouds through the worry through the hardship yes the clouds fade away and the Sun comes through let's have a look at that Knight of Pentacles Six of Swords, beautiful. Six of Swords, letting go of past issues. We've got the um, we've got the Five of Swords here, and we've got the Six of Swords as well. This could be literal travel over water. The Knight of Cups is also traveling over water, coming. coming through let's have a look at that hermit and we've got the six of wands so whatever information is either downloaded or seen um, discovered this will bring a sense of success five of wands six of wands now yeah Six of Wands here does show someone that's very successful, someone that's made it um, in the in any sort of a group or an association. We've got Aquarius here, which can speak of fame. We we can have fame and um, recognition here. Let's have a look at that Five of Cups, and we've got the Eight of Pentacles, which he's putting the roof on top of this home okay so this is salvaging this is a, a sense of help we've got eight of Pentacles twice someone is putting on the roof so this is like securing a home securing um, salvaging a relationship this is also salvaging money values things that are important to us and I feel that this could also be help from spirit let's have a look at the four of Pentacles and we've got the nine of cups everyone a wish fulfillment the genie if you've asked for your wishes to happen the genie is here just ask and wait to receive okay what's this lovers here And we have the Ten of Pentacles and we've had this card again recently as I was saying there is a lot of fame and fortune here and if this is not fame and fortune then it is setting up a family situation this is confronting the problems seeing things that were hidden not being frightened to look in the dark 
understanding that there is there is help from spirit there is also recognition there is um, someone is understanding that the hard work that they've put in um, is going to pay off and of course they will be justified in their efforts we've got justice here and I was going to look at the three of wands so this is Libra this is finding balance and harmony where relationships are concerned if you are dealing with any legalities and you feel that you've had to choose your battles but you've had to do this on your own your dedicated effort is what brings in what brings the abundance okay the transitioning leaving the hardships behind and coming into some sort of a balance and receiving what you've given out okay and we've got the three of pentacles here as well which speaks of collaboration wow we did have the devil the other day um, and the devil can speak of limitations you've no, you know your limitations and you've put in the effort or you're putting in the effort still you're one close before one step closer to securing something here as you can see I love this card absolutely so not all hope is lost keep going we do have two wish cards here everyone beautiful beautiful um, reading up to here I do see that whatever you are creating even though it's been tough you've been fighting fighting for your wish to begin or a new chapter to begin okay this does speak of and because we've got the ten of Pentacles which is also the marriage card someone's had to make a choice okay because we've got the marriage card plus also a lot to do with Pentacles so we've got strong earth we've got Capricorn we've got Taurus and we've got Virgo now all those strong energies happening in Capricorn they're all in a beautiful trine to to the earth signs so even though it's been really tough yes for everyone for earth signs it's been quite it's it's going to work out well because it's helpful energy the transformation that's going on is in a positive aspect to the earth signs I'd like to take three cards on the um, psychic tarot of the heart let's look at the choose your battles and we have the Queen of Wands which did show up in the last reading so Leo I would say more than likely could be any other uh, fire sign but Leo is more prominent here she's a leader she will create she's willing to do battle we've got the seven of Pentacles on top of the five of Pentacles okay this is um, even though someone is feeling alone they've got to do all the work on their own seven of Pentacles is they're deciding on what they've been nurturing and watering this plant metaphorically speaking whether they will keep doing that and it looks like they will as you can see she is watering that plant let's look at that dedicated effort which eight of pentacles we've got it twice <laughs> I knew this <laughs> I knew that that card was going to show up I just felt it because I was thinking eight Pentacles eight Pentacles that's 16 it's the number of the tower so there is the uh, unexpected divine help shift change tower okay let's take another card and we've got the Knight of Wands the Knight of Wands is someone that is flying in we've got three knights here so there is a lot of action that will be taken Sagittarian energy this could be someone that's flying in from a distant country different they could be from a different background now we've got the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands which means this is a match 
the Divine Feminine may be a little bit more mature, a little bit older. Knight of Wands is usually someone that is a player. There is a shift here. They're willing now to support, to put that roof on that foundation where a business, a family situation, a marriage is concerned. Because this is, I would say more than likely, that the tower is the enlightenment that this Knight of Wands receives. Now this could be, again, this is someone taking flight. We've got, um, because the tower for me is, it's Uranus. Uranus is, um, it's the ethers, right? So Uranus is unexpected enlightenment. Look at the thunder and the light, the lightning strikes here which says that something happens out of the blue. This can be um, someone coming in whilst there's freaky weather. Um, and Uranus again, remember I said Uranus is in the sign of Taurus. Um, if this is someone who's got strong Taurus in their chart, could have Sagittarius, could have Scorpio, okay? Um, this is a sudden, just like I said before, an unexpected jolt, an unexpected uh, shift that is happening. And again, he's riding an eagle. So this is the 2020 vision of Uranus and Aquarius as well. Interesting to see. And we've got the magician and we've got lightning again there. So I'd like to also mention that, yes, Zeus... So Jupiter is the god of, uh, he would throw thunderbolts and lightning when he's angry. But this is also um, strong intelligence coming from above. This is strong ideas. Don't forget that the magician is Mercury. Mercury is the messenger of the gods. He's the little messenger of Zeus, right? And Mercury... Mercury is um, interesting because Mercury is squaring Uranus. Um, and I will explain that to you. It's happening now as I'm doing this. So I will be explaining that if you stay on for the astrology portion. Let's close this reading off. What's beneath the moon card? And we've got joy and stability, which is the four of wands. It is the marriage card. So it can speak of celebration. Let's take some of my handwritten cards. Now, the magician is Gemini as well as Virgo. As above, so below. As those thunderstorms that those lightning strikes are happening up there in the ethers, amongst the planets and the gods, that is what's happening down here. I don't know about you, but in Greece, we've had a lot of freaky weather recently. A lot of thunderstorms, flooding. Let's see what's going on. I can't get over you. You bring such happiness to my life. We've got 18 here, which is the moon. Um, and... Of course, we know that tens are always extreme. Let's have a look. I am now awakened. Now I see clearly you are the one for me. And that's the tower, everyone. That is the tower. And we've got 25, which equals seven again. Again, seven was the number for my last reading. Interesting. Someone has awoken. Yes, this Knight of Wands, whoever this is for you, they are now awake. They're ready to put in that effort. They're very good at what they do. They could be someone that's quite famous, quite well known. And therefore, they've been soul searching. Okay, what is it? What is it that they want? Is it is it all about their persona, their status, how they're seen out in the world? Or is it what their heart is telling them? They're looking at their shadow self. They're looking into the mirror and they're really having a hard look at themselves and what their truth is. 
and we've got the trust card here which is Aries and the Fool. We've also got the Emperor here. So the, this means restrictions but someone who's been very restrictive and the Emperor cannot do much. He, he needs to take care of his, his empire, right? He's got a lot on his plate. This could be the limitations, but someone is willing to take that re risk, that leap of faith, the leap of faith into the unknown. They're moving towards their joy and their stability, and it's going to be a time of confrontation and that wide awakening, that sudden shift, that truth, that is coming to the fore. Okay, and this is all about walking through that new doorway. Eleven. Okay, everyone, I think I will leave it there. Thank you so much for those of you that are not staying on for the astrology portion. Thank you for being here, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Um, I am um, wanting to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for all that you do and I am thinking of doing a special giveaway um, for my birthday in September so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do um, and how we will choose the winner to win a free reading obviously. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you in the next um, few days or in a week or so. Look out for love readings for August and um, I think that's it. Thank you so much. For those of you that are staying on for the astrology portion, let's go. Okay, so for those of you that love the astrology, um, August 10th, 2020, uh, we're having now we're having Mercury squaring, Mercury in Leo, um, squaring over to Uranus. Now, Mercury is the left brain, Uranus is the right brain. Okay, it's strong intelligence. Mercury can be anything to do with vehicles, anything that is mobile. Okay, because it rules Gemini. Gemini is short distance travel, right? Mercury is also telecommunications. Uh, anything written, spoken, anything that we think of, um, one and one equals two. That's the logic of Mercury. But Mercury is also the messenger. Now, it's squaring over to Uranus in Taurus. And Uranus, we know, in Taurus can be freaky weather. This can be unexpected innovations, sudden revelations. I see Uranus in Taurus as, of course, it's freaky weather because Taurus is also the Earth. It's the land. Uranus can be um, lightning, thunder, lightning, just like the tower that we had in the reading today. And Taurus is all about our values. It's what we own. It's um, things that make us feel comfortable. Now, Taurus is fixed earth. Uranus is the opposite. It's the ethers and it's sudden. It's just, it's very um, ethereal. Um, but Mercury squaring Uranus, this could be a shocking message, shocking information coming in, um, something that you did not expect. It's a realization that could be quite surprising as well. This is happening now. Now, don't forget Mercury in Leo. Leo is very, very positive thinking. It's very generous. It's, it's the child that wants to go out and play. Mercury is the child. And it's in Leo. But Mercury is also in the sign of risk-taking. So for those of you that are um, driving, take it easy. Okay, this could be a sudden uh, breakdown. Okay, this could be an electrical problem on a car, for instance. And that's happening right around now. We've been coming up to that, and it's still happening now. It is very important right now. Okay. This could be a message that comes through from spirit, um, you know, a tower moment that puts us in a hard position, but this is a realization that we have to 
accept, use logic, okay, and try try to because both Mercury and Uranus are very fast. Mercury's very quick right now, and Uranus is very sudden. It's quick. So this is like smack bang. There goes the message. There's that thunder. Uh, there's that striking of thunder. The thunder hits a pole. What? Anything like that. It's something extremely fast. Now the moon is in Taurus. Beautiful. The moon is coming up to Uranus. So I would say that this is whatever it is. It's going to um, bring in something really good because the moon in Taurus is exalted. It loves being there. Now in 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 a few hours we're having the sun um, conjoining. Sorry, the sun in conjunct Jupiter, which is, you know, it's it's an off degree. It's not an opposition. It needs um, it needs some sort of an adjustment. So the sun, uh, both the sun, the sun is vitality. It's uh, our soul. It's our spirit. It's healing. Um, in conjunct Jupiter, Jupiter is the planet of expansion, luck, growth. It's the planet of truth. Both the Sun and Jupiter are all about the truth. Now, this could be a, a point of some sort of confidence or optimism coming through, but something needs to be adjusted to get there. This is us expanding our horizons, okay? So, tweaking something. Try to think positively and not negatively. That's what this is saying. Don't forget the Sun is, it's our vital. Um, it's a, it's the vital force for our planet, for our solar system. Jupiter is Zeus. So this is a helping hand as long as we tweak something. Try and see things in an optimistic way. Now also, straight after that, the Sun is in conjunct, in conjunct to Neptune as well. Okay, so again, something needs tweaking. And what's really interesting is that having Jupiter and Neptune facing the sun, right? It's like as a cone and it's joined with a sextile. So sextile is a 60 degree positive configuration and it's called, this is what is called um, the finger of God. So the sextile from Jupiter to Neptune, which have, has been uh, prominent for quite some time, and this will be happening again towards the end of the year, is they're both pointing, both in conjunctions are pointing towards the sun. So the focus is on the sun, and the sun is in Leo. This is the lion. This is the kingdom of the lion. Right. This is the kingdom, the king, the um, the sun. The sun is God. So this is spiritual healing. This is spiritual connection. This is healing through changes, and this is also uh, healing through some sort of understanding that things are not always as they seem. You know, because Jupiter, yes, and and Neptune, Jupiter in Capricorn and Neptune sextiling. This could be sometimes too much confusion because Jupiter expands on the energy of Neptune. Okay, so that's what's happening in the next day or two. In about three days we're having Mars square Pluto. This is very volatile. This is depth. This is desire. Don't forget that Mars is in its home sign of Aries. This can mean anger as well. A square is like turning a corner. It's like, you know, pulling, pulling on that, on that elastic band to the point where it's going to break. It's a point of getting to a point that you cannot go in a certain way. It's like the door is closed. You need to tweak something. Go around it. Go around the obstacles. Find a different way because this could be a breaking point. Now, don't forget Pluto in the sign of Capricorn, can be the governments, can be the masses. Um, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn and Saturn is there, 
also squaring onto Mars. This could be um, political uh, imbalances, difficulties. Mars is the planet of war. This is talks that need to happen as the pressure is rising. This is the pressure cooker. Let's just pray that peace um, is continued in the world or wherever we don't have peace for those peace talks to happen. Okay, as we know it's a very volatile um, couple of weeks. Okay, from the 13th of August till the end of August. It is my goodness. So we need to use strategy and not force. Okay, force is not the way to go. We need to be able to compromise and have those democratic talks, whether this is on a collective or personal scale. Okay, so there is a lot of excitement with Mercury square Uranus, but it's also nervousness. Don't forget that right now Uranus is squaring Mercury. Okay, try to be flexible. This can be mental tension, uh, rigidity and stubbornness, and something unexpected, uh, which could be quite shocking, or for others it could be something that is surprising. Okay, and that again can be on the world news or in our own personal lives. All right, everyone, I will leave it there. Thank you so much for those of you that want more details about what's going on in August, as I said, from the 13th till the end of August. It's very challenging. And not only, I mean, as Mars is going to retrograde on the 9th of September, it's, it's not going to be easy. The next couple of months, uh, two, three months, are going to be like September, October, November, quite the, quite the times. And what I wanted to say is that Uranus is also going to be retrograding. That's going to be happening really soon. So it's really, really slow at the moment. And then we're going to have all the big planets retrograding. So it's a time of rebuilding structures from the foundation. This is a brand new chapter we're moving into. And that's why the energies are so difficult, so challenging. But as I always say, spirit now is pointing to the sun. And the sun is, it's, it's our vitality, it's our life force. It's life in general, okay? It's also the soul. And the sun is God as well, right? It's our God. Without the light and the warmth of the sun, everything will wither away and die. So all fingers are pointing at the king right now. Okay, I will leave it there. I want to thank you all so much. Much love, much blessings and much healing to all of you. Namaste.